Hi, Charlie Kosorek, Jack Bench Woodworking, and today I want to talk about some durability tests that I did on these boards uh, with different hard wax oils. I did another video recently with, uh, with these same boards uh, comparing uh, how the different hard wax oils look you know, one, how one looks next to the other one. Uh, but with this video, I want to talk about uh, the durability. So I performed six tests on each one of these boards. And I, 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 on each board, I put some wine because wine tends to leave red stains. I put some whiskey on there to see what would happen if somebody spilled a drink on my table. I took a bunch of these little uh, water glasses and I filled them with ice water and I, um, and I even put water underneath the glass when I put it on there to make sure that it was wet for the whole time. I, I ran a coffee cup across each one of them to, um, uh, to test for scratches, how well they resisted scratching. I took a hot iron and I, and I had it at two different temperatures to see uh, how well they stood up to either a hot cup of coffee or if somebody put a, uh, took a hot pan out of the oven and put it directly on the table to see how they would fare uh, with that. And then I uh, also tested with some acetone to see um, what would happen with a harsh chemical. And this is one of the harshest chemicals that I've got in my house. So I tested with that. The different products that I used, I tested, um, let me see, Osmo, two different Osmo products, Osmo Top Oil and Osmo Polyox. I tested um, this hard wax oil. This is a vesting LED. This is a hard wax oil that cures uh, through with UV light, so you can cure it very quickly after you put it on. I tested Rubio Monocote, and then I also tested a board with um, uh, oil varnish blend, half 50-50 tongue oil and, and um, armor seal. So what I have on these different sample boards, they're all identical. I took a single piece of maple and I resawed it into, into thin strips, so they're all virtually identical. And there's, there's three coats of each product on each board. This would be the first coat, the second coat, and then from here up is three coats of the, whatever the product happens to be. In this first section, there uh, is the product with nothing over the top of it. The center section is the product with the coat of uh, paste wax, regular uh, Minwax paste wax. And the last section is the product with uh, whatever the different coats of carbon method uh, ceramic coating. It's more than one coat to, to, for the application process. So that is what I'm comparing. And there are some big differences between these. So I think how I'm going to proceed here is I'm just going to start. First, I'm going to talk about the chemical test. When I say chemical, I mean the, the cold water, the acetone, the wine, and the whiskey. I'll talk about the heat and the scratch test separately. So for the chemical tests, um, the worst one was Osmo Top Oil. Um, definitely that was the worst. Uh, the, the, water, the water glasses raised the grain in all three sections. Less so were the ceramic coating, but absolutely the grain is definitely raised on all areas. And you, with the wax, you can see it. And I'll tell you, universally, things showed, the chemicals and the scratches showed more easily when there were wax than than any of the other sections. I think part of that reason is because the wax itself is softer than the, uh, than the product underneath it. So the wax tended to, to show things um, more than others. After I'm done uh, describing this, I'm gonna try putting another coat of wax on here and see how, what that does. So anyway, um, but the Osmo top oil fared the, fared the worst. I can see uh, with just the top oil, it left a little orange stain for the wine was. None of this stuff shows on the camera very well. I'll, I'll do the best I can, but none of this shows very well on the camera. Um, with the wax, uh, there's a, a very distinct uh, yellow stain. Uh, the, the grain is raised from the, from the 
wine, from the whiskey, and from the water on um, those uh, first two sections, the bear and the wax. And then the final area with the uh, carbon method, the carbon method helps a lot as far as the chemical tests. And I can see a tiny, almost imperceptible yellow stain where the wine was, nothing from the whiskey, and like I said, the grain is raised um, uh, from the water, even through the carbon method. The uh, Osmo Polyox, nearly identical, almost identical, um, almost the exact same results that I had with the uh, uh, top oil. Rubio, I was a little disappointed. I was hoping the Rubio would fare a little better, but the Rubio, um, I can see it raised the grain, the water, I'm saying, but the water raised the grain was just Rubio. It also raised the grain where there was wax, um, but almost, almost nothing, almost no change whatsoever uh, with the carbon method. The carbon method helped quite a bit there. Um, the, the wine and the whiskey, um, those, I can see those on all three areas. I can see it's, it's worse where there's wax, um, pretty almost imperceptible with the carbon method, but I can see it up there. Um, and the acetone, I haven't talked about the acetone. Quite surprising, probably the most surprising thing to me was all of these, all of these, all across the board, they were all very resistant to the acetone. The acetone did virtually nothing So, uh, on any of these samples in any of the areas. So I, that's enough said about the acetone. Um, so the, uh, the next uh, board, now this is getting to be uh, quite a bit better, the uh, oil varnish blend. Now the oil varnish blend by itself with no wax or um, uh, carbon method over the top of it is really not that good. There's a pretty distinct yellow stain from the wine. Uh, there's a little discoloration from the whiskey. Uh, the grain is slightly raised and there's a discoloration, not as bad as, uh, as the Osmo, but there's a slight, actually not as bad as the Rubio either. Uh, better than the first three, um, the water uh, showed. So the wax and the uncoated uh, uh, Rubio didn't fare very well. On the other hand, the area of the Rubio with the added with the carbon method ceramic over the top of it is absolutely perfect. Absolutely perfect. There is no no hint whatsoever of any chemicals. Nothing. It's just wonderful. Now um, the the new kid on the block, the new kid on my block anyway, the LED vesting UV cured, hands down the best of the bunch, uh, hands down. On the on the uh, uncoated area, um, nothing from the water whatsoever. I see a slight discoloration from the wine and the whiskey. Uh, the wax, again, it shows more distinctly in the wax. The water shows, and there's, uh, it even feels raised up from the, the, the two alcohol alcohols. But again, with the um, uh, ceramic coating, absolutely nothing. So the two that fared the best would be the uh, oil varnish blend and the vesting. And they did the best when they had the ceramic coating on. Uh, they, they, did, they fared very well. I think definitely the, the vesting is, is the clear winner uh, for the chemical tests. So now let me talk about uh, the scratch test. So with the scratch test, I had this uh, coffee cup and you know, the bottom of these uh, ceramic cups is kind of coarse so that uh, will scratch if you rub it across there. At least it did with these. I, instead of putting water in here, uh, with the water, the, the glass weighed one, let me see, 16, 22 ounces with, with water. So I put bolts in here. And the reason I did that is when I was rubbing it back and forth, the water kept spilling. So I put a little extra in here. So this, the total weight on this is 24 ounces as opposed to the 22 that it would have been uh, with just water in there. So I rubbed this, the cup back and forth 15 times on each of these areas 
and uh, there, there, there was some scratching. Now, with the, the scratch test, it's surprisingly though, now this makes your decision a little tougher, the least resistant for scratching were the Osmo products. Neither one of them, well, there's a little bit of scratching, but neither one of the Osmo products, and I really have to try to get the light just right to be able to see anything. Um, but no, the Osmos, both of them were very, very resistant to the scratches. Uh, Rubio, Rubio did very well. Uh, the Rubio by itself, I can see a couple little scratches in there, not too bad. Uh, the wax again is the worst. And with the, uh, the ceramic coating, it didn't make much difference, at least with this sample. And I think part of the reason that it's more evident, the scratching is more evident with Rubio is because the Rubio is much shinier. With three coats, Rubio is far and away the most shiny, highest gloss of all of, all of these samples. So um, that being the case, you know, if it's glossy, the scratches will show more. So I suspect if this were a, a, a flat satin finish like the other two, uh, it'd, be, it'd be much harder to see them. So that's that. The um, oil varnish blend, didn't fare very well with scratches at all, and say it's probably the worst of the bunch. Uh, it scratched more easily than any of these. And again, the, the, the new kid on the block, this vesting, it, does, it did scratch, don't get me wrong. Um, I can see a little bit on the uncoated uh, uh, product here with the three coats with nothing on it, uh, the wax, showed the scratches very clearly. And with the uh, carbon method, I don't see any scratches at all. Again, partly probably because it's not as shiny as, as the Rubio, but it definitely held up very, very well. Finally, the heat. Uh, so with the iron, the clothes iron, I tried two different heats. I tried um, about 230, 240 degrees, and I laid the the iron right directly on the wood for five to eight seconds on each, each area, enough for it to get hot. And um, pretty much all of these are very, very resistant to heat. At 220, 240, none of them were affected at all by the heat. Um, so then I thought, well, okay, What's it going to take to damage these, this stuff? So I kicked the heat up to about 400 degrees. And at 400 degrees, there was a little bit of uh, difference. Um, the um, Osmo products, they both showed the, uh, the, the feels raised up in all three areas on both of the Osmo products. The Rubio. Uh, Rubio's pretty good. It's a little, it's a little bit of damage on here. Not much, not much. Pretty imperceptible, but it's it's definitely there. It's just very very light. The um, oil varnish blend, pretty good, pretty good. About the same as the Rubio. Uh, hardly tilts there, and the vesting again, the very best. The vesting. Yeah, I can feel a little bit of a, a ripple almost where the where the iron was on there, but far and away, this was the vesting LED. It, it fared the best in um, all of these tests. So, which one would I actually use if if I were working on something? Well, I would definitely not. Definitely, the Osmo. Both of the Osmos would definitely be my last choice. Um, the oil varnish blend, I like it, but it probably would not be my first choice. Um, the choice, the difference, now on the surface you would say, yes, definitely use the vesting uh, as over the, over the Rubio because it's, it's a little more durable, but it's also a lighter color, and you can probably see that, you know, put these, side by side, I think even with the camera and my lighting here in the shop, you can see the vesting is lighter. And so the uh, Rubio, it, um, 
it brings more depth. It's darker, it makes the wood look a little richer. And if that's the look you're going for, well, the Rubio is more likely to get that, as I said in my last video. The vesting, but as far as from dur just the durability perspective, the vesting is hands down the best of all of these. And uh, if you like the, uh, the more natural coloring on your pr projects when you finish them, then ding, 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 we have a winner here. So uh, anyway, that's, that's uh, the results of my uh, durability tests on these samples. I hope you like this. And um, I, I plan to do a few more uh, wood finishing videos. Like I said, my last one that I put up, uh, I've been doing quite a bit of wood finishing, testing for wood finishes, teaching wood finishing. I've taught at different uh, uh, schools all around the country over the last uh, four or five years. And so I, I really do have uh, something to offer, I think, when it comes to finishing. And so I just want to get that information out there to people. Anyway, thanks for watching and um, next time.